Hi. My name is Zaina Yasin, and I'm going to read Flower Children, The Little Cousins of the Field and Garden by Elizabeth Gordon. Flower Children, The Little Cousins of the Field and Garden, 1910, is a collection of poems for young children to appreciate the variety and beauty of fresh flowers. Drawings by M.T. Ross. A flower, a child, and a mother's heart these three are never so far apart. A child, a flower, and a mother's love this world's best gifts from the world above. All children are flowers in the garden of God's love. A flower is the mystical counterpart of a child. To the understanding heart a child is a flower and a flower is a child. God made flowers on the day that he made the world beautiful. Then he gave the world children to play amid the flowers. God has implanted in the breasts of children a natural love for flowers and no one who keeps that love in his heart has entirely forsaken the land of childhood. Said Crocus, My! This wind is cold. Most wish I had not been so bold, here the fields are still all brown, glad I wore my eiderdown. Eager little daffodil came too soon and got a chill, Jack Frost pinched her ear and said, Silly child, go back to bed. Hyacinth, the pretty thing, comes to us in early spring, says she always loves to hear Easter bells a ringing clear. Lady Tulip, stately dame, from across the ocean came, like this country very much, although she only spoke in Dutch. Lily of the Valley said she guessed she was a sleepyhead, but she got up and dressed for town in her new green tailored gown. Pussy Willow said, Meow. Wish someone would tell me how other kittens get around and roll and frolic on the ground. Primrose is the dearest thing, she loves to play outdoors in spring, but if a little child is ill, she's happy on the window sill. Grandfather Dandelion had such pretty hair, along came a gust of wind and left his head quite bare, young Dandelion generously offered him some gold, to buy a cap to keep his dear old head from being cold. Lilac wears a purple plume, scented with a sweet perfume, very high-born lady she, quite proud of her family tree. Pansies like the shaded places, with their little friendly faces, always seem to smile and say, how are all the folks today? Johnny Jump Up made a bet, that he could pass for Violet. What spoiled the little rascal's game? The scent he used was not the same. Lady Slipper in the Wood, said she really wished she could have a pretty dress and go with sister to the flower show. Modest little Violet was her loving mother's pet, didn't care to go and play, rather stay at home all day. Cowslip dearly loves to romp around the bottom of the swamp, she comes along in early spring, before the grass, or anything. Apple Blossom is a fairy, swinging in a tree so airy, by and by the little sprite sprinkles the ground with pink and white. Little golden-hearted Daisy told the sun that she felt lazy, said the earth was quite too wet, she thought she wouldn't open yet. Laughing, lucky four-leafed clover is a most atrocious rover, doesn't stay long in one place, goes and never leaves a trace.
thirsty little buttercup caught the dew and drank it up, said cool water was so good, she didn't seem to care for food. Sweet little maid forget me not, she's such a darling little tot, a blue eyed child with modest ways, she's never spoiled a bit by praise. Common little garden pink, went away to school, just think. When she came home for vacation, made them call her Rose Carnation. Morning Glory thought she'd look through the window at the cook, didn't know T was impolite to give a body such a fright. Honeysuckle, pretty vine, loved about the porch to twine. Thought was just too sweet for words to visit with the hummingbirds. Wild Rose runs round everywhere, likes to breathe the nice fresh air, even her high-bred connection cannot match her pink complexion. Columbine's a happy sprite, dances with fairies every night, she feeds them honey when they go, that's why the fairies love her so. Oh, have you seen the sweet Briar Rose? She wears the very dearest clothes, a hat the sweetest ever seen, and dainty frock all shades of green. Bluebell softly, gently sways through the long hot summer days, lives where nothing else can grow, that's why we all love her so. Geranium wears a scarlet gown, with trimming shading into brown, her cousin is a dainty sprite, she dresses modestly in white. Sweet Pea said she thought they might give her a dress that wasn't white, so Mother Nature chose for her all the colors that there were. Snapdragon is so very bold, he plays his tricks on young and old, hides behind the old stone wall, and shoots his popcorn at us all. Iris in a country garden, politely said, I beg your pardon, but I'm from sunny France you see and my real name is Fleur de Lis. Peony's a charming lady. She doesn't like a spot too shady, likes to live out in the light, dressed in red or pink or white. Jack Rose said, ambitiously, he would grow to be a tree, but his dad said, better far be contented as you are. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to our newsletter. And don't forget to check out our channel for more videos. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Take it away, Yasin family.